Kelly and Matt want to funkify their living room. I think we need more unique elements. More unique elements. But what these cool cats don't know. Look at his shrunk. Will definitely hurt them. Danger. Okay. Power tool. Next on Weekend Warriors. Calabunga. <laughs> Some people say the kitchen is the heart of the home. For Matt and Kelly, the living room is where it's at. They believe their living room is the centerpiece of their home and they're determined to make it exactly that. Kelly and Matt's place is the site of some serious creativity. They love to decorate and are never short on ideas. Interloper. Just like when they collaborate on a song. These two musicians are combining their talents and tastes to make their home a hit. Hey, Matt and Kelly. Hey, my cool. musical movers and shakers. That's us, come on in. Okay. Oh, who have we been joined by? Miles. Miles. Well, yeah. Miles is just like, it looks a little bit like your style. Bright, airy, fun, light. He's How do you... got the orange. And he's yeah. got the orange. The couple's bright style blends both of their tastes, and they have a special name for it, Atomic Tiki. Atomic Tiki. What is that? Hmm. Mm. I see it's kind of like Jetsons meets... Uh... Gilligan's Island. That's quite a combination. I definitely need to see more. Okay, Miles, let's go. Clear's totally <laughs> tiki. Totally yep. tiki. All right, give me a totally tiki up. tour. Take me around. Okay. These are uh, some crazy shields that I, I got very crafty with, with beach nice. mats and bamboo. Cool. And what tiki kitchen would be complete without a plastic palm? And there's Miles' North cousin. North. There's yes. Miles' cousin up there. On the Gotta end. have the, the fake bird with a fake palm right. tree. It's really an homage to Miles. <laughs> but the real star of this Polynesian paradise is the bar. And this is a vintage piece, uh, yes. literally from the 50s, 40s? Maybe early 50s. Or early 50s is what we were told. Yeah. Now, Kelly and Matt are hoping to bring their one-of-a-kind style to their not-so-exciting living room. Living room's still kind of a blank palette. Oh, <laughs> yeah. A blindingly blank. Blindingly blank palette. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this is our source of inspiration. We're going really? to use this as our, our jumping off point. Okay. And actually demo this mantle. Deco the whole thing to All smooth right. it out, make it really sculptural, mm -hmm. and then maybe a blast of color. Do you know which kind of color palette you're going to go with? The browns and the yellows or the blues and green? Yeah, well, I'm leaning towards the, the blues, actually. Well, I'm leaning okay. towards the browns and the yellows. <laughs> Good. Oh, my. Nice. He's I like that. This way I'm leaning. This is that the first way. battle of yes, Tiki. That's the color may be undecided, but Matt and Kelly are in agreement about their plans for the armoire. The armoire is going to experience a facelift. It, it is. It doesn't really have a face or a vibe, so we are going to... But it will. But it will. When we get done he with it... He says it was slide, man. <laughs> yes. What's going on here? Sasquatch fur. He, he white, wants white, fuzzy, phony <laughs> fur. A fur-covered armoire? This project is getting more interesting by the minute. And then over here, right? Yes. And we're going to create a gravel garden with plants and a waterfall. A gigantic fountain waterfall. Yeah, rock with waterfall. a fogger so the fog comes rolling into the living room. And something different with the firewall. Absolutely. Not paint. Not, not paint. Not. We're going to add texture. It's kind of a 1950s knockoff wallpaper that's hand woven. Very atomic. Very atomic. <laughs> Since their project is light on construction, these novice do-it-yourselfers think they can do it in three days for under a thousand dollars. I'm now on board. Oh God! Okay, make it work. All right. All right. Today is day one of the project, and Matt and Kelly are ready to rock and roll. There she is. Their friend Brenda has signed on for the day. Aloha! We are gonna demo the mantle and take. Demo the mantle, that means we get to destroy stuff? Get to destroy! And then build it up. Die mantle! Oh, this is tough work. I know. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm sweating just looking at you. Enjoy it. I'm Oh, jeez. Oh, something's happening. Yeah. It looks like the bricks are coming up. Yeah. The bricks, the bricks are coming, are coming up. up. Ta-da! Now that the mantle is off, the bricks could use some smoothing. Go Flintstones on it. That, that comes that. out. The chisel will work for the big chunks of dried adhesive, but the electric sander is definitely in order. Purple sandpaper. That's very atomic, isn't it? It's very atomic. 
just barely fits. That would um, be nice if they gave it an extra would, like nano inch. I'm concerned a little bit that the sandpaper just barely fits. Oh. And I, I hope it doesn't shake off. There's one last little. Oh. Okay, here goes. Sanding. Clear. Great for lunch. <laughs> Victory! Things seem to be moving along pretty smoothly for these first timers. Now they're ready to cover up the brick. If we can just fill in the cracks on the first pass, and then we'll go maybe with a second coat to get a real smooth. Okay, so the main job is to take this goop and fill the cracks. Yes, very good. Okay. <laughs> that, that's totally it. Did you make up a little song about this? Oh yeah, I did. did? Now, every time I say spackle, you guys have to say joint compound. Okay. You have to correct me. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. You just take a speck, a spackle. Joint compound. It goes a long, long way. You suspect your spackle will crackle. Joint and compound. Fall all over the floor. Just take a speck, a spackle. Joint compound. And add more, more, more. More, more, more. Blah, blah, blah. While Brenda finishes covering up the bricks, Matt and Kelly will start prepping the wood for the rock garden platform that will go in the corner of the room. I'm going to cut these down to the general size first and then try to figure out how to use the miter box yes. to get the edges the, on the it. The whole angle thing. As long as it's a straight edge, we have no worries. doesn't trust me using power tools. And I understand her reticence, but this is one of those situations where it would have been really helpful. Kelly's no power tool rule may be inconvenient, but with Matt's tendency towards clumsiness, she figures it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> okay. With the boards cut to length, all Matt has to do is cut the ends on a diagonal to fit the triangular platform. I'm noticing something kind of odd. You see the smiter box? Yes. It's supposed to be for a two by four. And you measure it, it's exactly four inches inside. Oh. Well, check out the width of the two by four. Oh. It's one and a half by three and three quarters by eight feet. So, so much for the two by four. Well, so how am I supposed here? to have this thing supported in the miter box to cut it? It's just gonna if flop gonna around, wobble. there's no way to support it. Mmm, we need like gummy bears. <coughs> Coming up, confusion sets in when the wallpaper comes out. No water added, did we read that? The instructions are gibberish to these guys. A little smudgy in the moo moo. <laughs> when Weekend Warriors return. First time do-it-yourselfers Matt and Kelly are transforming their living room. With their friend Brenda applying joint compound to the fireplace, Matt and Kelly are attempting to build the platform for their future fountain, and it looks like they just abandoned the miter box. I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna do it by hand. Okay. And then I'll just sand the edges. Okay. To get the angle. I don't know how well this is going to work. But at least get it started. All right. Okay, plan B. Okay. Straight angles. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Great design, but you're cutting them straight now, not on the diagonal anymore. Yeah, that's true. But the miter box let me down, so got to go with the flow. The first rule of home improvement, blame your tool. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, inside... You are hey. fast! Well, I've got this new technique down, filling the holes with a smaller putty knife before going over it with the bigger one to smooth it down. Yeah. That's the basic frame. And no more of that for today. I'm going inside. I think... It's done for the day, because we don't want to do the second coat until the first coat is dry. Well, that's yeah. good, because for the day. Sounds good. Starting in tomorrow. Let's get cleaned okay. up. Okay. Okay. Matt and Kelly got off to a rough start with the miter box situation, but with Brenda back today and help from moi, they'll be in good hands. Besides, painting and wallpapering? How hard could that be? Yay! We are so ready, and okay. actually we're going to start with this wall. All that's right, it. let's go to work. Okay, All right. we're ready. 
Kelly, what do I do when I get close to the ceiling? I'm gonna actually just cut in. I'll, I'll take care of that. Now for the really fun stuff, the wallpaper. Now that the paint's dry, they recommend that you paint close to the same color as the wallpaper because it, it does show through Does it show through? It's all hand woven, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do a chalk line, get our center, and work from the center outward. Oh, nice. Oh, that was the best chalky, one. Chalky. So, this needs to really get stirred up to the desired consistency. No water added? Do we read mm, that? It said no, do not dilute. Right. Here we go. So just a little bit? Yep. Okay. Uh, a little smudgy in the moo moo. <laughs> smudgy in the moo moo. Okay. All right, now comes the tricky part. Once the adhesive is applied, it's time to book it. Now booking is when you put the wet portions of the wallpaper and fold it in on itself. Can we just let it dry and let it get tacky in this form? Because if we book this together, how are you going to it? might get it? stuck. That's, yeah. It, does it say to book it? It says to book it and then roll it like a loose newspaper. All right. Cross your fingers. Is the wall's ready. Do we Just need let that it tool? fall all the way down. I think so. Are we? It feels know. like it's drooping. Yeah. Hold it. Can you pull yours? All right, I'm outside my line. Now you want to smooth from the top down. It is pretty cool. Oh, it's perfect. You cut out the outline? Oh. Yep. <laughs> Terrific. I think we know what we're doing now. Nice that. job. So let's finish up that wall. So go like this. Bring it out this yeah. way to the opener. Bubbles are forming. <laughs> uh, no more bubbles. Bye bye, bubble. We are golden. That looks great. One piece of fabric. It doesn't it? Kelly. You can't even tell where one begins and the next starts. These first time fixer uppers sure got that paper up like pros, and that calls for an umbrella drink. Make that four umbrella drinks. Thank you. Thank you. Here, here. Yes. Here, here. Here, here. Coming up. Look at his shrunk. It's one mystery after another. Isn't that weird? With a little suspense it's thrown in. One. Danger. Okay. Power tool. Stay tuned and watch the drama unfold. Ooh. It's early morning on the third day of Matt and Kelly's funky living room renovation. Having stayed up late to finish painting, these two are feeling sluggish, so it's a good thing their friend MB is here to keep things moving. B. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, so good oh, to see you. How you doing? <laughs> He's really messing with his thoughts. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> You're doing a rock garden? Like a little gravel garden with a What's waterfall it? and plants. It's hmm? theme park. Okay. Right. It's theme park, yeah. So let's bring it in. Okay, fellas. It's heavier than it looks, too. Well, what's going on it? Um, a fountain. The first step is to waterproof the platform with vinyl. Why don't we take Angle. this off, flip the thing over, and on top of this, oh, and we yes. wrap or tuck it that way. Right. Now you've got all the room you want to tack. Danger! Okay. Power tool. Oh, dear. Switch it on. All right, Matt, come on, baby. Now, a couple of we still got one right shot. Hey! We got action. <laughs> What's going on now? I think the edging should be next. Oh, that's, we can... oh this stuff! Yeah. Yeah. Kelly has decided to use a it clear does. plastic corner protector as the it lip of the platform. Ah, you're good. Uh huh. What do you think, Kelly? Yeah, it looks real clean and very museum-esque. Now to test Kelly's gravel choices. So the small is like that. I like the bigger ones. OK. The fountain area is looking good. Hopefully, the fur application will go just as smoothly. The Sasquatch specialist told me, do not cut this. You'll cut the hair, and since, since it's on like a grid, you need to tear it. Ripping. See? Rip, rip. Unfortunately, the problem with freehand ripping is that it comes out unevenly. Look at it shrunk. It totally shrunk. That's what I'm saying. The What's ripping came. What's happening? Can't... Ripping. Ripping's the best. <laughs> ripping. Yes, let's rip it. 
Let's try this again, folks. There's no problems, there are only solutions. This time, MB marks the exact measurements right onto the back of the fabric. So we're gonna cut with a blade, because if we cut with the scissors, we're going all the way through, and you're cutting the fur. I'm not gonna cut the fur, I'm just gonna cut the material. You might have to let the I'm... fabric lady in on a little secret. <laughs> yes, love it. Now it's only a matter of attaching the adhesive to the armoire, the fur to the adhesive. Okay, so we know we grooved hard and prospered on that one. And repeating. Okay. MB, you rock. You rock. Thank you. You rock. To the rescue. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't help you paint. I but... know, man. With MB gone, Matt and Kelly decide to finish out the day with their latest brainchild, painting great. a turquoise amoeba oh. above the mantle. Wow, it comes out a lot more of a like a uh, light ooh. outer blue than it does. Turquoise, huh? Yeah, it's funny. Isn't that weird? I noticed that too. I think we'll just go with it and then uh, kind of play with it from there. The amoeba has to pop. Popping amoebas. Popping amoebas? Yeah. Okay. No, I can go with it. I think that'll be You digging good. it? Yeah. I think it's coming together very well. We need more unique elements. Yes, more unique elements. Coming up. This is my maiden voyage. Stand back, everyone. Kelly is making her power tool debut. And stay tuned to see what happens when you cross an amoeba with a white flamingo and add a touch of fog when we come back. Kelly and Matt's uber hip living room transformation needs one more cool craft to pull it all together and I'm just the guy to help Kelly make it happen. So here we got some big kind of design craft projects today. Oh, I'm your man. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here to okay, help. So what are we gonna do? Actually, we're gonna do some flamingo wall art. Now, is this all uh, from the mind of Kelly? Yes, it is. My crazy mind. Mm -hmm. Well, step one is getting the flamingos from pink to white. To white, and it's a real chalky textured white. Oh, you got it in his eye. No, <laughs> You know, I think leaving a little pink on the edge is cool. Gives it some dimension. Flamingos painted, check. On to cutting the plywood base. The wood in place. Yes. All right, well, this is my maiden voyage. You're gonna start cutting and you know it'll never stop. <laughs> this is a power tool first for Kelly. Wow. Oh, oh my how's gosh. it feel? You know what, I want one of these. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Wow. All right, Chris. What's up? It's time for the next step. It's the bamboo step. Let's get bamboo. Oh. Now it's just a matter of splitting some bamboo. Timber. Laying it out. Cowabunga. <laughs> And we have ourselves a rough foundation for flamingo wall art. Yes! All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, thanks for good. helping me. Oh, man. yeah. You rock. Kelly and Matt were brave first time do-it-yourselfers. They went low tech with a handsaw, battled Sasquatch fur, and even took on pink flamingos. Now they have a room that's as unique as they are. Follow me. It went from total white to total personality. Is this your personality? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> Before, Matt and Kelly's bland living room was just waiting for a touch of their unique and funky flair. Now it's vibrant and fun with the perfect fusion of tiki and atomic, with finishing touches that include a brand new sectional couch, retro hanging lamps, and a geometric screen that sets off the new textured wallpaper, as well as their distinctive accessories. So your inspiration was the picture. That, that picture was supposed to live here, but you decided to go with this one. The, the matte color on this picture, it just yelled. And That's the cool Miles thing. Miles needed to be represented. I know, <laughs> it's subtle, it's subtle. The sculptural look they wanted for the fireplace is another subtlety that worked. It took about five coats of joint compound. We'll be coughing up joint compound <laughs> for the next 50 years. <laughs> Where did the idea from the, for the uh, kind of sidebar trays with the rocks come from? I just get this, you know, imagination thing. Really and I just idea. go, wow, man, that would look so cool. And talk about cool. 
the armoire's new look really ties all the room's white elements together, like Kelly's custom-made flamingo wall art and the white rock garden surrounding the fountain. So what makes this uh, a favorite spot? The ambiance. Okay, Matt, set the scene for me. What's it like at night? At night, the fog comes rolling across the living room floor. The lights kind of turn yellow and blue, and it's like we're in our own little tiki bar. The Germans know they couldn't have accomplished all this without great friends and a little guts. Ta-da! Power Tools. This was your. This was Power Tools 101 for you. Yes. All right. How did it work out? I kind of dug that. Did I you? I was thinking of maybe getting one, but I would, you know, like tuck it under my pillow and hide That's it. So me. under the bed, not under the pillow. It's cool. <laughs> it's demasculating. Yeah. <laughs> it took Kelly and Matt five solid workdays to create their atomic tiki paradise, and they kept expenses within their one thousand dollar budget. So the idea was to infuse your personality into this room, and you used the ingredients of tiki and flamingos and fur, and you got it, because this is clearly one of a kind, unique, just like Matt and Kelly. Give them a kiss. I think they each have a different quality. Yes. Kelly name. <laughs> Kelly, what are the names? The stroller. The stroller. The continental. The continental. <laughs> Okay, you guys have way too much time on your hands. <laughs>